your mind can put something together. You are a f miracle made flesh. You are humanity. You are engaging with someone else using a method of telepathy to create from nothing matter in the manner which God himself created the world, if you believe something like that, on the seventh day when you were meant to rest. Congratulations, you're based as f literally cooler and a harder worker than f God. Like, it's unironically, it's time to fucking break away and just saying, like, he's just a guy that's here, as opposed to he's one of the biggest voices. It is unironically time to permanently fucking break with the, like, concept of Vosh being a defender of, representative of, or in any way, shape, or form emblematic of us, because what does he fucking bring to the table? Racism con controversies, sexual controversies, a general lack of understanding about literally anything that is not just something I could hear repeated on CNN by somebody who has not leaked their fucking porn folder online. Like, what is the value? He doesn't even fucking debate anymore because he's fucking too scared of people like me who are just going to not let him talk over him. He's a coward. So, like, what? Cowardice? Stupidity? Perversion? Depravity? Where is the value in him? Other than, like, nostalgia for a better day, which is emblematic of fascism, as we've learned. Motherfuckers. Acknowledge that anything that I say is going to be like aggressively misinterpreted by people in my audience who are themselves 17 or 16 or something because they think I'm calling them stupid or whatever. But it's true. This is hypocrisy, Vosh. It, it's, it's not. But I'll put you on the spot, Henny J. Pie. What have I said that's hypocritical? I'll wait. This is an unsolvable dilemma, but feel free. If you're VGG, you might not know, but you fucking, you're, 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 you're WSTL, baby. WSTL every fucking week. And so you do know. You, I have pointed out all of the hypocrisies on here. So, uh, if, Fire off. <laughs> Shout out the Vosh chatter. The fucking one guy crossing his arms at the fucking Nazi rally level of fucking commentary. Um, excuse me. I think you're being a bit hypocritical by saying uh, one thing and then also saying the complete opposite thing and taking them both as core beliefs. That's a little bit crazy. Hmm. 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 This Vosh is most powerful move. His most powerful move is hmm and being able to fucking ban, block, or disconnect with people because they don't have the same level of platform as him. Weak and cowardly, first and foremost, dude. The guy's fucking bitch built. Like, that's all I can Gosh, say. You are what the fuck? The natural response? Hit me up. You have a disagreement with anything I'm saying? HMU, baby. I'm there. Debate fucking almost anybody else. But no, this is the same fucking energy as like fucking Hassan fighting with fucking 16 year olds, bro. Arguing with your own chat. I fucking look at you guys. I forget what you are saying. I got too much to say on my own time. Fucking, there's probably people that disagreed with me in chat. I didn't fucking notice. Because I don't look to you guys for approval. If you guys, and the only time you guys approve of me is when I hear a little fucking ding. And I'm like, oh, hey, somebody gave me $2 for being clever. And the only time I got that today was for I was making fun of Swedish people. And a Swedish person gave me money. <laughs> Maybe I do need to be meaner to you guys. Lying. You brought God up the point damn. that when my dad was 20, he was reading Lord of the Rings, lol, implying 20-year-olds should read real books and not YA smut. Coming from someone who's 30 and watches anime and furry porn with a few talking about- oh, I don't think many people really consider Gantz being much higher well, than Court of you know, Thorn you're not gonna literature position, value. Not really. maturity of good anime <laughs> no. here. But uh, man, you've got to be, ooh, you've got to be feeling that sting real bad. Um, uh, uh, implying 20-year-olds should read real books and not YA smut. Coming from someone who's 30 and watches anime and furry porn with a few talking about- Oh, feeling really defensive. Not really feeling defensive. Like, what are you talking about? This is, that is just, that is Rev Says Dezu. Vosh is now doing the Rev Says Dez. Vosh is permanently, f fully in the reactionary. That's the, uh, holy project, mm, holy projection, Batman. Ho holy projection. Oh, you're feeling very defensive, aren't you? Like, dude, you're the one that's literally defending yourself. They made the accusation. What are they, how are they feeling defensive? You're talking to a chatter. You guys can't defend yourselves from me. I'll just fucking ban you. You know what I mean? If you say something to me and then I respond, I'm the one defending myself. That's the concept of defense. Like that he just said, like how how am I being hypocritical? Like you're you're attacking smut and interest in smut. 
not from a creative aspect of it, but like just the interest in it at all, while also being interested in something. One of the few effective uses of a two cocaine argument. Like, yeah, like literally, you are being you're being hypocritical for no real reason, and and it's a completely moralistic argument that you're not really you're not really arriving at. Like the a, a sane conclusion. It's just it's just being hypocrisy or hypocritical. Like, w- w- <laughs> yeah, based chatter being literally correct about observable truth in nature. Well, you know, you're not going to get me in a position where I'm going to defend the maturity of good anime here. But uh, man, you got to be, ooh, you got to be feeling that sting real bad. Um, uh, uh. Jesus Christ, what a fuck question. Hey, Tyler, quick aside, what's the difference between an E7 and a CSM? Fuck, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. What is uh, a command sergeant made? What the fuck is CSM? That is, that is an acronym that has some. E7 is, hold on, I got to fucking do my math. E7 is Staff Sergeant, right? Um, CSM rank. Command Sergeant Major. Okay, I was I was correct about that. Senior Enlisted Advisors to the Commanding Officer. The carry out policies. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, uh, that, that's what, okay. The difference is it's a role. I can't believe I remembered CSM being Command Sergeant Major. That's th- That felt like more like you flipped a fucking switch inside of me. Than anything. E7 is a rank. CSM is a job. So, um, E7 would be a, fuck, five is sergeant, staff sergeant, gunny, yeah, so a gunny, gunnery sergeant, in the Marine Corps, it's a gunnery sergeant, um, sergeant major isn't until eight, um, and then it would be a master sergeant, or a sergeant major, or first sergeant, right, yeah, sorry, so sergeant major isn't always until the ten, but, like, sergeant major basically refers to the highest rank you can be before you turn into an officer, and according to this command sergeant major, is a uh, enlisted rank role. It's the role of the highest ranked enlisted person who's ass- assisting a uh, commanding officer. So um, it's assignable to battalion level or higher. So it's still like very high. More than likely, it's going to be a, a sergeant major anyway. Um, if you see an E7 who is a CSM, that guy should probably be promoted. <laughs> Or you're in a in a in an issue more than likely, just given the definitions that I get. But th- that's it. You'll see that a lot of times that there will be stuff that looks like a rank because it has like rank names. It'll be like you know lieutenant something or like a sergeant something, um, but it's not the actual rank. E seven literally means enlisted seven, so it actually is different in different uh, uniform services too. It might E seven might be a first sergeant in. The army has crazy ranks. Our army has like tech sergeant first class, oh, stupid shit. My Marine ranks are really simple because they're for dumbasses. Um, and so like that, that'll be that. But like, yeah, E7 just means it's a literal pay grade. That's your pay grade that you're paid at is E7. CSM is your job um, or one of maybe many jobs that you have, uh, but it's a role. So there you go. Uh, you really implying there's a difference between Lord of the Rings, one of the best-selling and most respected book series of all times, and random Wattpad TikTok tier YA smut? You, you, you watch anime! Well, you got me on that one, buddy. Look, if you... I mean, like, you're not really even understanding the question at that point, because that's not the point they made. Because you're saying, you, you were saying that the people shouldn't be enjoying the smut books. That's the point. So, like, you just invented it. Straw man the guy. You had to straw man the guy in order to be right. At which point, yeah, that straw man is very, very incorrect. But that's not the point the guy was making. This is why Vosh has to fight, like, chatters and people that he can fucking, like, bully into silence. Because if he talks, I, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit how fucking famous he is. I'll prob- My goal is to be bigger than him one day and I'm not going to fucking glaze him in order for a fucking come up. I'd rather just fucking carve his entire kingdom into fucking pieces and take what's left in order to grow my own fucking brand. But like fucking he can't fight with someone like me or anyone else. If this is the only way that he can exist because he's too fucking lazy to do his research. Clearly uh, doesn't even care to do research. He just wants to be right. And he just postures and just assumes that he's right and creates situations where he's right. By fucking literally straw manning the other people. It's inherent bad faith shit. It's going to get him fucked up. Because it's bad policy. You know what I mean? It's like winning a bunch of fights as a boxer against like low ranked boxers. And not understanding like basically taking advantage of their speed. You know? And like conditioning regimens not being as good as yours. And then thinking that you can keep your hands down and showboat when you fight a pro. Because once you once you get the fucking speed back. 
You know what I mean? And you're on the same level. It's all going to be fucking technique. And he has no technique. He's, he's like tactically fucking tactically gone, unpracticed, like literally throat exposed to the world. You guys are like, I said, people are going to get so upset that they're not even going to listen, but I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> like, holy shit. You know what else? Tyler, you're like six, five. You're already what else so really well. True. Serious person. You better be black. Are you, are you, if you, cause if, you, if you're not, you can't say it. Mind Kampf? Oh, that wasn't what I was going. That wasn't the reference, the earlier part of this segment. Vosh, I will note that the main driver of anime these days is light novels. Light novels are literally the same category as YA just in Japan. And what are light novels? Dog shit and pedo. So, you know, Vosh's chatter implying Attack on Titan, for example, is not much. Wait, light novel? Like, wait, wait, what? Hold on. I was, I was making a face at the pedo shit. What? Shit. And pedo made these days. Oh, that wasn't what I was going. That wasn't the reference, the earlier part of this segment. Vosh, I will note that the main driver of anime these days is light novels. Light novels are literally the same category as YA just in Japan. And what are light novels? Dog shit and pedo. It's just like a genre? The light novels are literally just like light, small, easy to get novels that have like pictures in them. Like almost the stunning, a stunning majority of anime the like start is like light, like Goblin Slayer is a light novel. I mean, I guess that's got some smut in it and stuff. I know that one was, I think a bunch of like the Nasuverse shit is too like like but they're just everywhere they're all over the place they they light novelize stories too i think i'm 99 percent sure there's a fucking one punch man light novel and a mob psycho light novel like it's a genre like we're attacking genres and saying the entire genre is is pedo shit it's crazy also vosh stop saying anything about that you that's done for you Next time we have the great Scandinavian bully stream, I demand you get the language right. Otherwise, I should call the U.S. Marines army grunts. How fucking dare you, Rolsk? How goddamn dare you? How dare you? You'll get God. No, it, it, my bad, my bad. I am, I'm just bad about stuff. So, like, I'll admit it. I'll admit that I'm fucking wrong. Because I like learning more shit. But, yeah, like, that's crazy. Because it feels like every time I find out that Vosh is like, oh, I don't like fucking hentai because it's full of, like, pedo shit. And, oh, I don't like anime because it's full of And then it's like, tends turns to be like, that's the only thing that he's fucking looking at. So, like, uh, or, like, maybe getting sent. I don't know. Like, my man doth protest too much. But, like, light novels are, like, everywhere. They're, like, they're, like light novels are, like, little girl romance, you know, like, novels about, like, running away with some sparkly guy from the sky fucking sailor moon shit and they're also like you know fucking like parasite the maxim type shit hold on let me just even look i'm this is i'm being stupid trying to remember these offhand let's see uh top 10 light novels top 10 light novels in japan classroom of the elite spice and wolf kino's journey Mushoku Tensei, Haruhi Suzumiya, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Overlord, Rascal Does Not Dream, The Irregular at Magic High, Konosuba, Death March, Slayers? Really? Slayers are still around. Um, Bakamono Gatari, Goblin Slayer, Katana Gatari, Twelve Kingdoms, Sword Art Online. And these are just like the best sellers. Raito Noburu. <laughs> Ranobe. <laughs> first light novel in Japan was Motoko Arise published first person novels that were written for youth. So like, yeah, longest running Japanese light night novel, Guin Saga. The main story of Guin Saga resumed on November 8th, 2013, four years after the passing of the original author. Jesus Christ. So it, it's just a, it, it's a format is the crazy thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just like a, a way to make stuff. You know, um, it would be like saying everything that's in dating, like all like dating games. You know what I mean? Like visual novels. Every visual novel is just fucking type moon would be crazy. Right. And like a lot of stuff that's already like manga or anime gets turned into light novel. It's just a, a, a genre, not even a genre, just a, like a production method, you know? That's crazy. 
More like Gooner Saga? <laughs> Gooin. So, you know, Bosch is chatter implying Attack on Titan, for example, is not mature at all. Not the example I would have gone to. There's book talk drama, so obviously I'm Why here. you keep buying books you don't read? There's been a flurry of discourse regarding book talk and its legitimacy. Oh, wait, the TikTok is quiet. And it comes down to an advertising issue. People are confused by book talk because it consistently hypes up incredibly poorly written novels. And it's because people are confusing good for entertaining. Books like this are not well written literary masterpieces. They're not supposed to be. It's a sexual fantasy wrapped in the vaguest outline of plot to justify publishing. And that's okay. If you're writing a literary analytical essay on the Schadenfreude of present and Ice Planet Barbarians, you've missed the point of the novel. These books are reality show garbage, and that's why they're so fun and why I support people reading them. There are actual books on book talk that I would gut you for saying they're bad. Most of them are written by Brandon Sanderson. People are lazy and don't want to do due diligence to find an actual good book, and it's why I dismiss his critiques out of hand. People complaining, oh, it's all porn, probably don't even f*** it anyway. The exit's over there. Just past the Fae Warrior, hit the ice cream, gone too far. Keep in mind, if you hand me a novel and the way you describe it makes me think I'm gonna get Brandon Sanderson and I end up getting Colleen Hoover, I'll burn your house to the ground. But if you're honest and go, Daniel, this is reality show garbage, I will go, thanks Okay, so I don't know what Brander Hamberson is, but this person- So you got a uh, you got opinions on young adult fiction, and it ain't that good. At, and you don't know who Brandon Sanderson is. Like, so unable to have the whoever fucking recommended this to me and said like they wouldn't spoil any of it. I, they just want good job. You fucked me up. You fucked. Me. I I don't even know how to react to that it it's like what are you why do you think you have anything to talk about that like like the the conversation would be something more along the lines of like i just don't think that brandon sanderson should be as hyped up as he is would be like my like aggressive point to like have a conversation with someone about but talking about fuck all ya is porn and then ignoring the fucking existence of fucking the ultimate Mormon is crazy. <laughs> Blake Feldhaus, thanks for the 10 bucks. Sorry, but busy, super breezy at work. Here's your tip for the day. Thank you very much. How in the fuck? How in the fuck do you not know who Brandon Sanderson is if you do anything around books? Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're in that genre. It's, cra it's impossible. Like You have to not know anything because the dude's name is everywhere. Like, you definitely don't know any industry shit, like, at my level of just understanding. Like, because, like, he, his ability to, like, kind of separate himself and stay mainstream away from mainstream publishing is, like, a crazy flex. Whole different conversation to have. But if we're talking about YA and saying, like, there's just not books like Lord of the Rings anymore and fucking way, The Way of Kings is out there and Mistborn is out there and all the other goofy-ass fucking little Sanderson thing. Patrick Rothfuss is out there and like that has some sex in it and it is still like pretty fucking decent and it's never getting finished. You can suck a dick. He, pa Patrick Rothfuss is never finishing any of that shit. Oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. He's never going to be fit. You're never going to know what the name of the earth is. Get eat a dick and die. <laughs> um, that's wild. That's wild. I can't. They, we're only about. fucking 15 okay, minutes well, in this. I have can he give me some that there was no. Could he give me some worse opinions and some more fucking like undeserved statements on this shit? Because first off, the last guy's opinion on it is my same opinion and it's perfect. It's the perfect opinion. And Vosh's, Vosh's response to an, a literal argument was, I don't know who Brando Sando is. <laughs> Brandon Hamburgerson or whatever the fuck he said. <laughs> but like, what in the fuck? Aaron, thank you for the 10 bucks. He used to say all the right could do is gesture at vague hypocrisy, but more and more he seems to gesture at a vague misinterpretation of the argument he's being presented these days instead of engaging. A hundred percent. Like a hundred. Like what in the fuck? Why? Literally, I want a, a fucking tag any of his editors in this. I know he's too big a fucking pussy to talk to me. Editors of Vosh. Editors of Vosh. Literally tell me what you thought you were accomplishing by this. Like I, I have to understand because you have to be going over so much of his content that you know what's good about it. And so, what in the fuck is good about this? This is humiliating. Do you have to know that? I feel like 
I've seen some of his editors type on Twitter and shit, and they don't seem like complete fucking morons. So maybe they read books here and there. What at what point is this not humiliating? You know what I mean? Like, shut up. Shut shut the fuck up. It's not even a good bad lit this isn't this is sub 4chan's lit board level understanding of literature, which is psychotic. Like, I thought maybe we would get good pseudo shit. Like, Vosh would say something stupid, like, Albert Camus is the first and last person you ever need to read, or just like, you know, No Exit is, <laughs> I don't know, No Exit isn't a particularly good, like, example of existentialism, and maybe, like, the French shouldn't write books anymore. I, there's something, like, along those lines, like, some interesting... Do you know what I mean? Give me something. Maybe even literally one of those like, well, I think that like Stephen King is possibly the best writer of all time. That's like, okay, well, that's a that's your own little opinion, baby, baby. But have you read anything more difficult? I don't think he's read anything at all. Vosh, Vosh said his dad read. Vosh said his dad read Lord of the Rings. Not that he read it. Which is a detail I noted at the time, but did not mention. So, like, what's Vosh's reading list? What's that like? I, 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 I've never heard him give a fucking book recommendation on stream. I don't think even in, like, non-fiction terms. Maybe once or twice non-fiction. But I've never heard him give, like, so why is he talking about something he's so out of, so authoritatively? Like, what in the fuck gives him the confidence to do this and how do i break that is like is my new opinion uh, vosh needs to be destroyed confidence wise like he needs to be reduced a bit because this is insanity like i just need to get ahead of him i i i i refuse to let people come i, I just don't want people i refuse to let people come <laughs> i refuse I refuse to accept that, like, one of the first people that is available for motherfuckers to learn about leftism from in the, like, I can share you some links is a guy who might, if they have any hobbies on earth at all, be as embarrassingly, embarrassingly shadowversity pilled charlatan about anything that he has, a, like, anything, just anything, just like his thing that he loves the most is like fashion. And knows next to nothing about it. And now we're getting into books. And like uh, it's just lost. Lost. Like have you not read anything in the last. You're not even 30 years old yet. So like I don't even know how to. Have you just not read anything? You referenced one book as being good. And the book is from the 1960s. And is also the fucking book. That is always constantly brought up. Or in the 1970s I think sorry. All, the book that's always constantly brought up by the fucking alt-right and by righties is like, we need to return to tradition. That book, the, the, the fucking, the, the, we need to return to fucking like post world war two fucking like, uh, like Jim Crow America when it was released that, pe that book, that's the book that you can fucking bring up as being good. There's other books out there, man. I have brought up a ton my my entire fucking stream is full of book recommendations. Read Stephen Brust. Unironically, if you're all because he's first off a fucking card carrying communist, Stephen Brust is a fuck. Stephen Brust would hate me for not being a like sufficiently fucking ML enough. Actually, he doesn't even like MLs. He's just a full on commie, um, old school. Um, uh, and and he writes young adult, fucking. Um, high fantasy and it's fucking great it's really good and it's very approachable and it's not sexy at all it's out there but it's a thing you would have to have read books and be like moderately well, well read to even know about like this is Vosh is giving Shadiversity's opinions on books by the way this is just Shadiversity saying Shadiversity was saying oh I agree with him I've read a few more. Uh, 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 uh. You haven't heard of Brandon Sanderson. That's a, uh, 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 a red mark, but Vosh, um, I'll send you my own copy. I have like 15. Uh. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing. But, but Vosh actually knows less about books. Sorry, knows less about books. Thank you, Tyler's statement right there. Vosh knows less about books than Shadiversity. Are you stunned? Are you shocked? I'm mind blown. Same opinion. We need to return to tradition. <laughs> Here's the thumbnail for this segment. Vosh knows less about books than Shadiversity. And it's true, observably on its face. And his opinions on sci-fi fantasy 
are somehow actually worse. Because Shadiversity wouldn't have said there hasn't been any good books like that or articulated that there aren't any good books. Shadiversity would at least at least say his own book is a good replacement. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to not engage with literature. You have to not know anything. Like, I don't know every book that came out. I guarantee you there's a bunch. But I know enough about the industry to know that there's a lot of underlooked gems out there and there's a lot of good stuff going on. Another good, basically, YA with a little bit of risque elements to it, uh, Stephen King's The Eye of the Dragon. There, there's a good YA, like, standard hero's journey fair fucking novel. That's a great one. Uh, there, there's so many of them out there. There's so many of them out there that have come out between Lord of the Rings and now. The Last Unicorn, I believe, came out between then and now, even though it's pretty fucking old. Uh, the Magician's Apprentice, um, if I'm saying that one right, not, not the Disney thing. There's an entire one about fucking um, Merlin uh, coming of age well before he met King Arthur. I read that when I was a little kid, and that one was pretty solid. Uh, there's just so many books. Just go to a fucking library into the sci-fi fantasy section and just like touch things blindly and pick something up off the fucking cart and you'll more than likely find something that's at least pretty passably well written and probably not porn but there's so many gra so much grass between your front door and the, the door of the library that god only knows what could happen but mother fuck away in hell that we are going to that we are going to get a good point out of this. Okay, are you ready <laughs> for me to make an argument? Tyler, I Remember how I said that music is a lower form of art uh, than, than everything else? Remember that definitely real thing that I definitely said that definitely didn't get misinterpreted immediately by people who are acting in incredibly bad faith? Okay. The actual that, that's basically what he said, though. That, like, no, what, what was it? Was it um, people that have, like, I'm into music uh, in their, their dating profile are like not worth talking to or like music's not a real hobby is kind of like what it was. I can't really remember it off the top, but I did, I did a whole fucking response to it and check out my video responding to uh, the collection of Vosh's worst takes as submitted by the fucking West side Tyler community. Um, and I remember seeing that one and Vosh was pretty fucking inaccurate and sounded pretty fucking uneducated on music in that respect as well. Also, another time where I think I, he didn't give a single fucking opinion on music that made any goddamn sense. The point that I made is that music is easier to engage with because you just listen to it. If you disagree with this, you're insane. You're insane if you disagree. Look, based, based fucking WSTL chat, T.A. Barron's Merlin Saga. Thank you. T.A. Bar Barron's Merlin Saga. That's probably it. I, I would almost guarantee it. Very good. Very, very good. Um, hopefully, hopefully it stands the test of time. I, I read it when I was like... 13 to like 18 ish years old, probably not even 18, probably 17. Cause I don't think I read it while I was in the military. I might've been even younger, but pretty Listen. good. Also the first book I ever had that described, um, very explicitly how to do, um, tree splicing husbandry. Very interesting. To music. That's what you do to hear the music. That's what you have to do. If you're watching a show, you have to use your eyes too. You don't need your eyes for music. I'm not arguing about this. If you email me, I'm ignoring you. I have to add that. Okay, nice. What? What do you say? Sorry. That's what you do to hear the music. That's what you have to do. If you're watching a show, you have to use your eyes too. You don't need your eyes for music. I'm not arguing about this. If you email me, I'm ignoring you. I have to add, lose your eyes. Is that music is easier to engage with because you just listen to it. If you disagree with this, you're insane. You're insane if you disagree. You listen to music. That's what you do to hear the music. That's what you have to do. If you're watching a show, you have to use your eyes too. You don't need your eyes for music. I'm not arguing about this. If you email me, I'm ignoring you. I have to add that. Okay, nice. I think that books are like the most difficult media to engage with because it gives you nothing but the word. You have to put it together in your head. The words on their own are meaningless. You have to assemble them. The scenes, the context of the scene, the way people look and sound, how an event must have felt. Books require a lot of mental effort to construct what you're reading, you know? And I think that it's good that people engage. Not for me. Each their minds in that way. What about audiobooks? Same thing. I mean, audiobooks are a bit easier because you're listening, but you still have to construct what's happening in your head. Like, the only difference there is you're listening rather than, like, reading it, but fundamentally you're still constructing it in your head, you know? Um, you're doing the conceptualization, right? So you, you have to actively listen to follow what's, yeah, you know. I prefer audiobooks because I'm good at reading. I just get distracted easily, you know? I think that when you conceptualize stuff that you read, you're doing a lot of brain work that you don't really do in other ways in your day-to-day -day life. I think that you're flexing your imagination in a really cool way. I'm not one of those boomers who thinks that, like, TVs are bad for your brain. I think that's horseshit or whatever, or, like, any media or, like, movies are bad for your brain, I don't, or comics are bad for your brain. I don't think that's true at all. I do, however, think there's, like, a unique appeal to the book, to, to, to literature as a concept, audio or read, you know, like, in a book.
I think that's cool. So I think the issue in my mind, right, is that one of the virtues of books is, is the fact that you're doing that conceptualization work, which requires a lot of mental energy, requires creativity, requires thought. I think that reading or listening to audiobooks, whatever, if done properly, can make you a richer and smarter person, richer like um, mentally, right? Like emotionally, you know, I think that it's, it's a thing you can't necessarily get necessarily as easily from other forms of media. Reading is special. I think it's cool. You know, people don't read that much anymore, it seems, but like, whatever, you know, we also like TV shows are more interesting and engaging than they ever have been before. It's not like that's just not true. I think, uh, fuck, I'd have to look it up again, but I remember seeing it. People read more now than they ever have basically before. That's why Amazon.com exists was because it was a book selling website. Um, the world reads more now. The entire earth reads more now than when I was born because just access to public education increases access to literacy. And then you need like one or two generations to create a, a, a really strong literary society in those other places. So like a lot of places that we don't even normally wouldn't even think about because of Western centrism, you know, because they speak whatever non fucking English language, those places that you saw people building schools for the first time in basically, you know, like the 1990s, two thousands, those kids are now having kids who are going to those same schools and that education compounds and it really builds up. And so now a lot of those places are not just reading, they're reading non-English stuff because they're writing their own shit, which is f profoundly fucking based in creating their own literary societies and literary circles inside their own nations. Um, and so like more of the earth is reading now than ever has before. And more of the earth will be reading in a few years. It's going to take a long time for there to be less people, assuming we assume that non-white, uh, non-English speaking people are people. One would assume and hope we do uh, as as long as all these nations keep developing um, industrially and stuff and catching up to the West, so to say, in terms of the services offered to their people and literacy, literacy keeps increasing at the rate it does. You'll just see more and more people reading. And then the more people get good jobs and can afford books and can afford to have a like lettered society, you know, have jobs that, that where people like, we don't all have to bring in the harvest because we have me mechanized part of it. Some people can write now. We don't desperately need all of the labor for war. You know, half of our population isn't fucking dead. The populations grow. More people are fucking educated. More people read. So it, it, it's great. Like people love books. People love them. I'll tell you right now. People read my book. I sold books. I got a royalty check last week, baby. Um, and so, yeah, 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 that, that, that's pretty much, I don't, I don't know why he's saying that. That's just like a conservative talking point that you hear, um, as an argument against public education is that like public school students aren't reading whatever, blah, 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 reading at the same level. Um, but a lot of that is moving away from, cause it's impossible to test, by the way, it's impossible to test it in a way that makes any sort of sense. You have to get into like actual pedagogy, um, to understand this, but a lot of our testing um, is bunk from 2000 to 2008, especially because in the year 2000, George W. Bush got fucking elected and put a no children left behind. And the no child left behind act basically made it impossible for you to fail <laughs> school. And so, um, on top of that, testing became a requirement for school funding and schools started teaching to tests, which makes kids made kids that were doing that seem more literate. Because they could get the fucking test answers right that determined literacy and, and, and reading capability and shit. But then when you get out, you don't know anything after, anymore because you just, you just learn to the test. And then when you're done, you don't care anymore. Um, and so if, as those sort of things have been phased out, if I'm remembering this correctly, and I'm definitely not saying all of it 100% accurately, as a lot of that teaching to the test shit has been got, gotten phased out and people become less like impressed by it as my generation is older now and has kids. We're like, dude, learning to the test was stupid as fuck. Like no one should do that anymore. That's becoming less important. And so when you don't teach kids to get good scores on a reading test specifically, then they won't get as good scores on the reading test and the reading scores will go down. But that just means that you're not teaching to the test anymore. It doesn't mean anything is different actually with the kids because it's also like some people just aren't interested in reading and some people are very interested in reading and there's nothing that you can educate into somebody most of the time with notable exceptions that will actually make them want to read more. A lot of the times if you end up reading and you didn't when you were in school, 
It's something that you come to later on in life because of some sort of third party, you know, thing that changed something just like kind of happened to you and you're like, Oh fuck. I actually like reading now. I'm getting exposed to the books I want. I'm old enough to understand them. I finally found out I was dyslexic at 33 kind of shit. You know, it's a, uh, it's not a cut and dry thing though. And kids are reading all the time. Kid, almost every child is literate because they all know how to play fucking Fortnite, and you have to be able to read the screens. Watching The Wire doesn't enhance your... You know, like, you, if you engage with The Wire, and you think about it, and you engage with it, and you... I'm so happy you, West you, by you, God was on Kobo, by the way. So many independent authors or small publishers only pub, publish the book on Kindle. Oh, I'm happy it's there, too. I don't know. I'm <laughs> Shout out my publishers. ...what is happening, and you reflect on what is happening. You know, that's also very mentally uh, enriching, I think. But anyway, the thing that bothers me, I think, about the patterns that I see, that I see from the outside in book talk or in the like TikTok trend or the YA trend or whatever, is that it feels like people are going for books that they know already appeal to the specific things they like. Right? They like. They're going after books because they have like a checklist of tropes that they're interested in. Now, this is the way like Wattpad fiction and archive of our own fiction tend to be like written. You know, like you see a big like written thing and it's got a bunch of chapters and words, but all the tags are there at the top. Now, I don't think that looking at something based on its tags is inherently bad. Isn't that all media? No, no. I would, the Dewey Decimal System might fuck my man up a little bit. It would be crazy to find out that those tags are everywhere. <laughs> and, that, and that before the tags were there, if you were into these kind of media, you wanted them, by the way, because I remember the most ancient conversations where I don't know why X is filed in Y, X is definitely a Z type thing. And then people going like into the 7,000 gradients of gray between Y and X of why it's fucking located where it is. That is that that's gnarly. I, this is, this is this, this is more reactionary shit. This is the same as when I hear old fucks talk about, I asked a child a question today and instead of knowing the answer, that child went straight to Google. These kids are more about finding knowledge these days than holding on to it. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, none of that was normal. Tags on media? No, that's not normal at all. And that genres, books. genres books, would fuck you up. All you got was the blurb on the back of the cover, reviews online, whatever else. The problem that I have, I think, in my opinion, is that over-categorization of the stuff that you're going to read ensures you're only... <laughs> I can't... I don't know. I don't know. What is he talking about? <laughs> The library is literally broken down by subject. Like, it, it, it's there's fiction, there's nonfiction. A lot of libraries will have a children's section, children's sci-fi, uh, three to eight, you know, K through five, young adult, six through twelve, six through eight, middle grade. Uh, what in the fuck is he talking about? This has always existed. Now they're just more specific. What? He literally cannot understand a non gelbro version of tags. The presence of tags, Vosh, does not mean that you're searching a porn website. It's a way to parse information. There's tags that your fucking editor put on the video that I'm watching right now. It's tags. It's to help you search for shit, you fucking idiot. What in the fuck are you talking about? They've always been there. Everyone's happier that there are more. What? That's not the point I'm making. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. You're just too stupid to understand the point you're trying to make, which doesn't even make any fucking sense. Only reading stuff that you're already comfortable with. Now, I don't think that's necessarily a problem if you're like going after music and a show. Also, just people have people have fucking interests. People have fucking interests, and they don't have to step outside of them. There's, you can just, you can, you can just like a certain type of book. It's okay. You can, you can't, I give you permission. If you just like fucking porno books, just go read the fucking porno books. If you are just, if you literally are only rereading all of the Karen Travis Halo novelizations, doc, you can just do that again and again and again. I give you permission. That's just called having interests. I can't get any more excited about what like in the else. fuck. But I do think it's an issue where you're like looking for tags that specifically identify specific plot elements and character dynamics or like specific, like very specific settings, you know, like the very, very selective categories. This is also, this is also a thing that already existed. I, I told you guys about cozy mysteries and cozy romances earlier. Those before the invention of the internet had tags on them. That's where some of those tags come from. 
and it will say all the way down, meet cute, does have this, doesn't have that, because people, some people are not in it to expand their mind. Some people enjoy the entertainment aspect of it, which is fine. It's a fucking industry. What in the fuck is he, what in the fuck has, is he on? Like, go to a fucking library just to walk inside of it is the response. And I'm correct is, is crazy to me. Like, what in the fuck? Vosh doesn't know about database elements and the literature about breaking down text to distinct parts so you can think about the parts deeper. I don't think my man knows. Any this is crazy. I've never seen somebody get fucking suited. This hard. This is like beyond D Dunning Kruger's whatever fucking experiments they did could not account for whatever. This is just hubris. We just had this. We had this in ancient Greece. Th this is. This is why fucking Odysseus was at sea for so long. Uh, this is why this is this is why fucking uh, Menelaus was slaughtered after returning from Troy. Like we're we're not we're not to like highly conceptualized like French shortcomings. We're sh we're in simple hubris. Aristophanes wrote on this once upon a time. All of when all of your personal shortcomings can be summarized by like Aristophanes fucking the clouds or some shit. I can't remember the which one. I, I always get the bees and the clouds confused in my mind because Aristophanes. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's a fundamental failing with the person themselves. Like holy fuck. I've, I, this is why it's good I never heard him talk about books because I would have fucking broken away from him before I got deep Vosh lore. Because if I would have been for introduced to him on this one, this would have been like one comment and then people fucking being like, wow, can't believe you're this mad. Go back to DGG or whatever the fuck it is those animals say. But this is great. Literally walk inside a library. Literally just walk inside of them. And like, you know, oh, I understand how the job, no, shut the fuck up because you clearly confused. There will be sheets and pamphlets and librarians inside. And if you talk to the librarian and give her some tags, she, like the modern search engine, will probably recommend you a, a story based on your interests, you know, because people have described their interests relative to the media they consume since that became a thing you can do and i can't break that that is we are at absurdum it's turtles all the way down from there like that's madness like like that that's why the blurbs are the way the blurbs are when he was talking about that on the back of the book because they try to narrow it down. This is a new science fiction thriller from John Grisham. Fucking, you liked them in the Pelican Brief. Now, fucking, uh, Horse Law in the 21st century. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? A stunning book about two people who meet and do a court case about horses. And you're like, okay, wow. These are all the different things that are in here arranged into a little fucking, like, information. Like, you're just talking about nouns and information parcels and the way to, to describe the specific contents of something so you can get closer to what you want. How in the fuck is noticing things like at all a negative? I mean, I know I can reread this, but you guys, I, you guys know I, I, I hold on to shit pretty well. I would be stunned to find the part of this where I'm fucking lost and don't understand what's going on. And then only reading it based on that. Like, in which case, you're not really trying to look. Shut the fuck. Shut the fuck up, Shep. Bro has never heard the word picaresque in his life. <laughs> For anything new or How anything dare new. you? You're kind of just like. By you the way, like fucking thing, vignette, come, uh, come, come, vignette coming. Vignette coming. No, you're soon. misunderstanding. This wasn't an issue with books. I'm not just talking about genres here. I'm talking about tropes. This is the tropification of media consumption. And this is a new thing, not an old thing. This wasn't ever done. How would you know? How could you know that? 
how, how where where do you base this on okay let Anywhere, me just until recently let me uh, i'm gonna like, try to i'm gonna, not gonna like pause thing and you want it like, looking for tags that specifically identify specific plot elements and character dynamics or like specific like very specific settings you know like the very very selective categorization and then only reading it based on that like in which case you're not really trying to look for anything new or explore anything new you're kind of just like you just like a thing and you want it over and over that's not an exclusive issue with books no 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 you're misunderstanding this wasn't an issue with books i'm not just talking about genres here i'm talking about tropes this is the tropification of media consumption, and this is a new thing, not an old thing. This wasn't ever done anywhere until recently. This type of engagement with media is a new thing, and I think that it's particularly detrimental when it comes to um, when it comes to books because it undercuts the imagine the imaginative and explorative elements that are unique to the ways that we conceptualize what we read. Right at that, there there is a reason why archive of our own fiction and Wattpad fan fiction are categorically distinct to regular published books, and frankly, at a lower level. Even if you have really, 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 really well written Wattpad or, 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 what, or like the AO3 thing or whatever, you're still ultimately like constructing it in an environment where it is like a, a tropified, categorized piece of like fan work, right? But I think that a book should be defined in part by its ambiguity. You have what you have on the back of the cover. I think it's important to engage with stuff like that. I don't really know. Can you, can you imagine people like picking up books and getting recommended books and they're only going after the tropes? That like? We're not jerking off to porn here. It's not like you're looking on a site going like, um, you know, female, big cock, male, bunny ear like we're, you're not we're not talking about like you jerking off we're talking about like a creative exercise that could potentially last you weeks of engagement i feel like i have never that was an endurance test unlike anything i've ever experienced first off i never miss did i tell you that he he only understands tags relative to gelbro which is a porn website that has a bunch of tags on it why do i know about it because i fucking look at it sometimes bitch that's how um what in the fuck? Those are some nice sen those are some nice sources, Senator. You want to back that up? <laughs> those are some nice facts, Senator. You want to back that up with a source? My source is I made it the fuck up. Cause wh what? So literal source? What are you talking about? Um, wh wh give me, give me an example. Like. Are are don't he described Wattpad more times than uh, uh, stunning? Stunning, we talked about Wattpad. That meant libraries are still real. Amazon's bestseller list exists and it says search functions. I don't know why we're talking about Wattpad that much. <laughs> My man already wrote. So I found her in the stable. Peachy of skin and fat of ass. But little did she know I was sneaking up on her. A sentient horse. Cock hung. Like the letters over the stall door. A big D followed by Onovan. I don't know. <laughs> um, literal source. All of that was a non-argument. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Other than he seems to not be... It, it like... People don't have to go and read stuff that they're uncomfortable with. They just literally don't, and a lot of people don't. If he knew anything about books, he would know about, like, especially like, any depth thing about the literature industry. Like, you would just know about cozies, which I started, I started at the beginning. He's just describing the literal opposite mentality and saying, like, being interested in cozies is bad, basically. Like, that, that is a degenerate way to... A, 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 to observe and, and interact with media is by like hunting for specific things that you want to see in it and then engaging with them, which is just crazy. It's just, it, it just like, don't look for stuff then. Cause how the fuck can you just type the word book into Google? I guess like, what the fuck we, we're, we're, if we take tags away, that it's a fundamental method that search engines use to parse information. We're never going to get any closer um, so like at that point, it's just, that's what book talk that you're, so you actually kind of in an act in a weird way, went back to what book talk is or what I guess it should be is just, uh, book recommendations, but not the kind of books that you don't want to see. <laughs> Shadowversity. Shadowversity. Jesus fucking Christ. Like if you want, do you want book recommendations? P are you saying people should search out? Th that's what book talk does. If you would have probably looked at the guy who apparently the somebody said in my own chat, the guy that was doing the cringe at the beginning actually has a bunch of stuff he talks about, you know, like maybe, maybe you would have found something. Uh, what, what do you, can you recommend a book? I, I don't know where, why 
he is even trying to make these points other than like it seems like he's digging himself out of a hole that's not even a hole people are just like stop pretending you're in a hole and just leave and he's just screaming smashing an imaginary shovel into pavement and maybe on occasion going boing 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 <laughs> like people don't understand that he's holding a fake shovel I, feel like, I don't know i feel like i feel like it's a bad it's clown show shit getting into it you know yeah, bottling sunshine. I think people should be willing to try new things, you know? I think that to an extent, people do this with TV shows and movies, right? Like, movies don't come out that often, and they tend to be big blockbuster events. Sorry, big mainstream movies don't come out that often, and they tend to be big mainstream events. So, when people watch movies... Big mainstream movies come out, and they're big mainstream events. The really popular thing people are, are interested in. Not always good is the argument we're going to get into, but to people... Watch- but people should watch more, I don't know, fucking Jean-Luc Godard. <laughs> people people really need to be watching. People need to be watching the bicycle themes. I don't know why they haven't seen it. You should be you should check out some uh, you should check out the uh, the original fiddler on the roof with the original cast. It's very good, very good. But I would also suggest maybe one of the modern ones with Harvey Weinstein. He does a pretty knock up job as Stevia like what's big at the moment they don't like they don't look at the movie's trope list and go okay this has um enemies to lovers this has um, pico the light novel my mother you know this doesn't have this does, 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 does. okay yeah this one's good and then they watch it like that's not really it, it, it's it's not really how people watch movies and i don't think people watch tv shows that way either people tend to be willing to like you know like maybe they like a genre or they like animation over live action or they like oh this is like a magical girl thing or whatever whatever but again i don't think people select for trope i think book talk selects for trope though at least some of them do that worries me a little bit how do you said you don't know anything about it? Somebody emailed you fucking links. You presumed that the links were correct. You watched four of them, turned them off, said, I don't even know what these people are talking about. Made one slavery joke. And then we arrived at you still not knowing anything about literature. Like what? Like literally yet again, Vosh's editors. Why? Why did you embarrass your boy like this? Like, answer my fucking answer my question. I demand it. What in the fuck? You don't even know it, the trope of what trope? What what trope is it? Like are we doing like TV tropes? Like like somebody specifically, like, I don't want anything with anvilicious political leanings in it. You know, people that just have described the interior aspects of it, like, oh hey, 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 fucking uh what? Mistborn has the Lancer. I want to see a book with the Lancer subcast. You know, like what when the fuck are you literally what in the fuck are you talking about? Give me an example at all. Shout out Vosh. I know VGGers, if you watch this shit, you're going to be like f- pissing and shitting your pants to try to do his job for him. Stop. Stop. It's his responsibility to provide the arguments that you can repeat later. Stop trying to fucking massage the stupid shit that he fucking says into some semblance of an argument that I have to talk about. Like, well, you don't really understand what he said. Here's something completely fucking different that would actually make sense. Stop doing that. I see it when you do it. And I don't know. It's either you're trying to trick me and think that I don't notice, which is depressing for you, or you don't notice that you're doing it like a fucking abused wife. And that is even more depressing for you. So it's only sadness. Don't, don't, don't do it. Or if you do, come on stream and have the fucking out with me. No. At that point, yeah, it just feels like, I guess that's how you make slop out of it, I guess. What about catalogs of movies? I'm talking about trope lists. I'm not talking about, like, genre or whatever. Vosh, the two are not mutually exclusive. You can read a comfy, campy book and then a challenging new book. Yeah, but Somebody I talked about comfy, comfy book should be something that you selected via tropes. I think that you should, like, like the author or have heard good things about the book. I think it's genuinely harmful to the way your imagination engages with a piece of media. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead because I can't watch this. I demand someone has to know, who did he get this idea from? Who, who is it? Who, who really, was it ContraPoints or something? Who is the other creator that he heard the tropification of books from and I'm listening to him half remember their argument? I, I'm sorry. I should have fucking figured this out like five minutes of ranting ago. Who Who is he talking about? I will watch that person's video on stream tomorrow because I, this is, it's very obvious that he's repeating something he believes that someone else taught him. This is like that if you're going like i want a comfy campy book let me select for something that's new and it's got like six tags how long is this going tonight my wife's not my wife went uh to a fucking concert so i can go literally as long as i feel like shout out osu osu
<laughs> Somebody also asked me to go an That's hour late. That's what I'm talking so. about. The problem is the time investment. If a movie is bad, then I'm only going to waste like two hours of my life and most of my finish shit anyway. Well, I mean, if a book is I bad... I bet it was Cat Black bad, knowing he'd like, embarrass right. himself. Who, who is... Cat <laughs> Black just sent him a DM like, you can fucking just watch this. <laughs> She's cackling. It's an unlisted video. He didn't check the views. <laughs> I've never been reading or watching up. something that they enjoyed, but then they were like, this doesn't have the tropes that I like. And then they dropped it. I don't think people It's not Contra. That, Contra you know? made your point. Um, so I don't think we should pre-select for it, right? Like, again, this to me is the difference between, like, pornographic erotic literature and... I'm not saying that there's probably... There might be some, somewhere in the heart of whatever the fuck it is he's fucking wa literally waffling about right now. There might actually be a point, but I would need it to be from someone that I know has a library card. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, just somebody that's read or listened to a fucking book in the last year so that I can understand what the fuck he's talking about. I will have this conversation. I, like, literally somebody just tell me what the fuck he's actually trying to say because he is not making the point or a point at all because he's just saying a thing that he has badly defined, so badly defined his, his own audience and I cannot understand the difference between him saying tropification whatever the fuck that means um, of media and like just basic genres or like sub genre things or like asking for a, a thing with that has stuff in it. Um, he's, he's, he's really hard on this point, but he has yet to provide a single example. Cause I guess he can't remember the whole of the video essay. He was like listening to while he was fucking gel brewing up some fucking beastification porn. Whatever the fuck. Regular book. If I pick up a book and I start reading it because I think it'll have a robot noir detective in it, and it turns out it doesn't. I just misunderstood the back of the cover. It doesn't have that. But the book is good anyway. I'm going to keep reading the book. I'm not going to think like 40 pages in, oh, there's no robot noir detective, and I'm done. I'm not going to. Okay, well, some people do that. I, let me. Just, I'm a writer, and I have had people say, um, I had one person, I, it's a fiction podcast. I say it's horror stories. Scary Story Podcast. Um, and I one of my favorite reviews still to this day is somebody saying, I hesitate to believe any of these stories are true. They seem made up. And he was in the second story of my podcast. I believe almost the first episode of which, uh, So Long Roscoe, is about a woman hallucinating a dead childhood acquaintance who uh, eventually like follows her around and then she she drowns a man after a car crash is the end of the story. <laughs> like there's that one and then like two after that is about a person who's trapped in a cruise ship that crashes or sinks after a plague and like they're just trapped in the water with a, a rotted doll that's floating under the water staring at them, kind of like insinuating that maybe they should like let themselves drown kind of. Um, badly describing my own stories so that I don't spoil them. Shout out me. Uh, and somebody still wrote me like, I can't believe that these aren't true. You know, uh, one person wrote me one time and said, wow, I thought a man narrated this and this is not a manly voice. You should listen to this random person for a more manly voice as a narrator. And it's like, okay, P people having stupid fucking complaints about books, ancient, by the way, um, I think it might have been Vonnegut. I can't remember who, but there was, it was in a collection of letters to writers. And one of them was a writer responding to somebody. I don't know why you think I feel so desperate for your attention when clearly I don't need it. And neither do I need your every, your every stupid detail you do or do not like about my book sent my way via post. Please stop writing. Uh, it, it just goes back fucking forever. Like... Like yet again, Vosh is incredulously describing something that he has almost no connection or understanding of, as though that is an argument. Like, and and, and providing no real like, no no supporting evidence. No no like, there's no connective nature. It, it's just I'm going to describe something in a pissy voice. This clearly means it's bad. And I, and I guess if you're like a little child in his audience, that's like I'm going to do that. I'm in the that hits, now. but I'm like the trope, I, I got into it on a premise, but I'm not going to like quit it because that just got into scars like, in time. Really I really enjoyed it. Thank you. However, if I'm reading like giant nine foot tall werewolf furry erotic literature, and then I get in like two pages in, and it turns out that she's not actually a werewolf, she's just part of a roller derby team called the Werewolves. 
I will put it down. Because the thing that I was looking from that wasn't just like a holistic quality experience. I wanted the giant werewolf GF. That is almost the exact opposite of an R.L. Stein adult fiction book uh, about werewolves. I can't remember what the fuck it's called, but you should definitely check it out. What I'm talking about, I read that one when I was way too young to be reading it. Um, and it's like the werewolves are in a punk band that's like Moon Howler or some shit like that. <laughs> and it's like, they couldn't be werewolves, but they are. <laughs> like that was an important part because the way you engage with something like pornography, which is the environment where tagging and like tropes or whatever are most common, that's very, very different to the way that I would engage with like a quality piece of media broadly. Does that make sense? That makes sense to everyone, right? Like, Bosh, it, big man over tag, very Because I feel like that's an almost universal experience here, right? That the idea of like dropping a piece of media because when it's already good because it doesn't have like the curvy like that's insane to me but if it's like porn or whatever like sure okay but i think there's a blurring here between like pornographic fan <laughs> the joke's too obvious the joke where well i don't know it might be bad pornography <laughs> it's good pornography but it does have one unsavory tag in it can you take a look at colleen hoover Oops. Is this the person who writes the like low quality smut? Bosh, the only real problem for book talk is that graphic smut is all over YA now, which is geared towards 12 to 18 year olds and is not being labeled appropriately. I guess I could see that being an issue, especially since it seems like a lot of the book talk smut that I see advocated for is like hardcore BDSM dynamics, you know? Because uh, again, this, this is a 12 to 18, it's TikTok, I don't know. It doesn't matter what the actual line for YA is, they're talking about who sees it. Yeah, if you've seen the meme image of the married step siblings laughing about their son's big balls, that's Colleen Hoover. <laughs> yep, there are a lot of, I, I, I copy-pasted that chat message, and yep, one point, sorry, 151.2 million views. We both laugh at our son's big, okay, you know, not even engaging, not engaging. This is just reactionary shit, dude. This is, Shadowversity could do this exact same, exact same thing. Like, it, it, am I crazy? Is this not just like, like, oh my god, there's a weird thing in it. It must be burned. All the children. Won't somebody think of the children? <laughs> like, it's not like, dude, you got to imagine it. If you, if you have a kid read something and they can't, they don't know what the fuck, it's not like pictures. If a kid picks up, if a kid picks up fucking penthouse for the penthouse forum, I was traveling down I-75 the other day and boy, howdy, do I have a story to tell you. I stopped in a Waffle House, and there in the bathroom waiting for me was Diane Feinstein from third grade. <laughs> My third grade math teacher. And then, like, if it's stuff that kids don't fucking know about, they'll be like, uh. Oh. I remember I had a, I read a bunch of books that had, like, sex in them when I was a kid, and, like, a lot of it's not graphic, and a lot of it is just, you, you have to know the innuendos. Because, like, if, if when it's, like, and then he thrust he's throbbing manhood into me nearly ripping me apart like you would have like the kids like what in the fuck are they talking about like the kid would have to know what all those words mean and be able to like picture them i, I think most of the time if a kid gets to that more than likely a kid that's not into a smut book like we read i read a fucking uh court of thorns and roses and reviewed it on this channel it is so fucking bad. It is so bad. I couldn't imagine someone that's not reading it for the pornographic, romantic aspect of it would get that deep. And that's usually the case with a lot of more pornographic books is like the rest of it doesn't slap. You know what I mean? It's not like, it's not like the fucking writer was wasting some of their best fucking like plotting and, and, and writing and skill on the fuck book. It's a fuck book. So it's kind of like bad at, at, at all. It's kind of like saying like, I'm terrified of children picking up a Playboy magazine and thinking this is how underwear is supposed to be worn. Like, I, I don't think, I don't think that that is exactly like what's going to happen. You know what I mean? It, it's such a non situation that if it exists at all, it's more than likely like random kids on TikTok or more than likely their parents who are aghast because they never thought that by the time they got what like 50% of the way through a court of thorns and roses before like anything sexual happens like oh i read all of this and was enthralled by it 
the best book I've ever read. Then suddenly he's thrusting himself inside her. Who? How dare they? Like what? In the what? I need. I, I demand. Come before me. I demand your presence before the con. Come before me, throat bared, and share your story with with the full understanding that to lie before the con is to be slaughtered on the spot and fed to the dogs. I demand you provide testimony of this moment. Because what in the fuck are you talking about? What, what kid? Who is this imaginary child? <laughs> who, who is just searching like randomly through books, right? First off, Vosh already described a situation where you're searching for it by trope. So apparently you just hunt for this thing like a porno tag. So this is a kid that knows porno tags. <laughs> Has a reading level to uh, actually do young adult stuff, which means they're probably at least sexually active anyway. So in that case, who fucking cares? Not I, said the cat. Um, and then they're gonna read, they're gonna read a a bad book for for no reason until they get to a porn part and are mystified. Or they're just trying to read it for the porn anyway, which I don't care because I'm a fucking leftist. Go ahead. I don't give a fuck. If somebody wants to fucking read descriptions of sexual acts and they can imagine them, that's because they've already done a lot of other research. Just let let me tell you. Uh, descriptions of bondage. I remember the first time I saw bondage described to me was somebody talking about Shinori or Shinari, whatever that. I can't remember how to say it right. The Japanese sex binding stuff. I read that in a book when I was in high school and didn't know what the fuck I was actually reading until years later because I couldn't even fucking comprehend it. It was in a book called The Tokaido Road, um, which is about Edo period Japan and a woman traveling. It, it's a whole story. It's actually it's actually a pretty good pretty good fucking book. But like she just gets into a sexual tryst with a person and they do um, they do like Japanese bondage, and I was just like, what in the fuck? Because it's not like it, it even it's an attempt to be graphic i still just couldn't understand what in the fuck i was reading and so i just like moved to the next part not giving a shit you know what i mean shibari thank you at least that's what i've heard <laughs> vosh would throw a fit if you ever found out that i once wanted to find a book about time travel when i was in the library did you dare say that but you don't want to read jules verne's the time machine did you suggest you wanted to hit a trope? The time machine? Dude, uh, oh, by the way, all diesel punk people, all, all, you, all, all you steampunk losers trying to find a trope inside of the greater genre of sci-fi, get fucking cracked, bro. Get dunked on. I know that I'm falling prey of a subject that was discussed in the, um, in the Contra video on this sort of thing. But I do think it's an issue that so much of this is written by women for women, and it all seems to be about getting by men. <laughs> or, like, extremely coerced. Again, to me, it's not, like, an individual shaming thing, you know? Like, you're And we finally arrived at that little bit like of misogyny I've been waiting thing, right? for. Like, come on. It's, there's definitely a broader social issue there at some level. Especially because a lot of these young people don't really have the, like, self-awareness or experience. Hold on, he's got tags up. The tags just say, like... Y'all, please, I can't. It's all just negative anti TikTok book talk stuff. And if you don't already know about it, and so like your first blush with something is only just negative coverage, like do you think you're getting quite literally a biased opinion on it? Jules Wells. Oh, did I say Vern? HG ah, ah. Wells. No, they know I'm a suit. I've done it. I've done it. Oh, no. The Morlocks let them drag me into the sewers where I belong. Vern is a. Uh, um, who knows how many in 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 indeterminate amount of leagues under the sea? <laughs> shout out, shout out, notable author uh, Herman Melville's uh, perennial classic, The Grapes of Wrath. Uh, John Steinbeck's wonderful uh, treatise on the road. <laughs> um, Truman Capote's uh, best known work. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> Just doing, doing violence now. To write about it in a responsible way. Bottom psychoanalysis time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't know, Vosh. I feel like every generation worries about that, but society hasn't collapsed. I'm not saying society will collapse. The two, the two like loudest jokes in the entire segment being one about a, like like making fun of a black guy for doing the we was slaves thing, and then the next one being like women women do like be getting fucked by men though. <laughs> Is I'm not making any assumptions. I'm just saying it's it's crazy that it happened that way. It's crazy to talk about a subject that you don't know for fucking over yeah, half an hour. Have a rape culture and chopped and down. And abusing and coercing women is that not true? I mean, and two of the most interesting right? moments where you crack yourself up from misogyny and, and slavery. TikTok. So these people are fucking idiots. And a lot of them are kids. Like the the uncritical, uh, like uh, immature, uh, poorly thought out fetishization of a bad social trend isn't just like a harm. Also, can I just say? Can I just say for a guy that's involved? I keep thinking about this. For a dude that's so into, can you put something in your hair, man? You know, like nothing to think about here, kind of deal. You'll dry oh, sure, it. Sure, sure, sure Flavier, but like the issue is the irresponsibility, right? It's like how Fifty Shades of Grey got a lot of Ben Shapiro's you know, wife's twat. Of rape apologia, which which it was, but that doesn't mean that like every smut novel on the subject with BDSM or whatever the male dom dynamics is bad. Or like Twilight had that, you know, because it was Twilight fan fiction. But like, it doesn't mean every time that's done it's bad. It's just that if it's done in an un like the person who wrote Fifty Shades of Grey wasn't she a Mormon or something? No wonder she was completely lacking in self-awareness you know it reminds me of how in uh, what el james is el james a mormon i thought i can't remember el james is british fuck off fuck right off i know stephanie myers our mormon today i learned <laughs> this is an our mormon a place to discuss mormonism <laughs> today i learned 50 shades of gray started as twilight fan fiction what And people said incest in the Mormon church was dead. I'm trying to think if there is any other fan fiction in Mormondom. Mormondom. Oh, yeah. Besides the Book of Mormon. <laughs> you fucking Mormon. Ex-Mormons are fuck, like absolute bants 24-7. Where Jamie Cersei on top of the coffin of... Joffrey, Joffrey. I was thinking, was Joffrey or Jamie the older one? Yeah, yeah. On top of Joffrey. And the, the directors of the scene later didn't realize that it was, like, it was unambiguously, they filmed it, but the people who directed it were like, oh, we didn't see that or whatever. Which is like, again, there's nothing wrong with having a TV show that depicts, right? Like, it's an element of human life that can be represented in media. There is something wrong with the directors not knowing that's what they were doing. But Vosh also, like, goddamn. Chat diversity again. Every time I say anything about Chat diversity's weird opinions or, or, or weird ass book, it always is like, what, well, George R. R. Martin did a bad thing. George R. R. Martin shows that. Bad things can be in good media. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's such a sued argument. I mean, I guess it's the thing that everybody knows about, so it's fair, but. What's wrong with engaging with slop uncritically? Like, sometimes I like to turn my brain off of Marvel movies. I I'm really sorry, but there's no way for me to answer your question without being incredibly mean to you. I think that turning your brain off, uh, the, the idea of turn your brain off and enjoy has been one of the most damaging, like, ideas to the production of media imaginable. Like, it's essentially like, like cognitive suicide, you know? Uh, you can enjoy something that is, like, easy and, and fun and dumb without having to turn your brain off. Has anyone seen Redline? What about, um, what about Mad Max Fury Road? There are so many pieces of media that are good, but the difference is Marvel movies are bad. And Mad Max Fury Road is good. Judge Dredd, the most recent one, that's dumb fun. But you don't have to turn your brain off, right? It's just good. If you have to turn your brain off to enjoy something, it's probably not that good to like begin with, you know? So that's why. That's, that's my feeling on that. Like, you know. What a strange media diet to bring up. What a, what a, what a perfectly bizarre media diet to bring up. Um, I, I think, well, well let's see. Everyone needs downtime. Yeah, but you don't need to turn your brain off to do downtime. You can't actually turn your brain off. What if you're having a depression day and you just need visuals and noise? You don't need my permission to deal with depressive symptoms. Yeah, if you're depressive and you just want to, like, consume something without thinking, then just do it. But, but like, you know that's not a response to the argument that I'm making, right? Like, you don't need my permission to do that. Would you, would, would, would you, would you be, like, laying there watching something on your phone and then think, wait, Bosch thinks you should engage with everything actively and critically? And then Yes, yes, you have a deep parasocial react, uh, relationship with your audience. I guarantee you people are thinking like that, which is why you have to let people off the hook, bro. You, that, that's why I say things the way I say them when I say them to you guys. By the way, I say I literally, I think I've literally said I give you permission to enjoy things I don't like. <laughs> I think I've actually told you that just in case because I don't want every, anyone ever to be like caught up and they're uh, like trying to be me or trying to emulate some part of me that they think is, is critical to my existence. You know what I mean? Like, like couching, if you bring up this concept to me, I will make fun of you with like, and then immediately on the next hand saying, you don't need my permission to like something is a hypocritical statement. You know what I'm saying? Because 
it, it, it just assumes only in a world where you can assume that you have no impact whatsoever on a person who is literally actively uh, watching you on a screen where they can see their words pop up to the side of your face and maybe looking for just a little bit of approval. Only if you just don't assume that that's the case at all and you just take yourself out of reality again do you not understand the hypocrisy of that. I think we're good. I think we're good on this. I, there's absolutely no way. He has, to the end, stayed good. If there's something in the last few seconds, you guys can tell me and I'll figure it out. I'll go back to it. But like, let me let me let me break it down this way. This is this is actually the in depth Tyler's in depth description of how to enjoy media. Very cool, um, or how to write it at least for people. I believe that there should be, like with ogres, layers um, to anything, and I think things should be enjoyable on their surface and in the depths of them as well. Everything I write, I write with that expectation, which is why I was talking to you guys so much about reading level. I fucking knew it was going to come up and it did. And then you guys were probably prepped for it once it actually arrived to say, Oh, okay. That might not actually be that big of a deal. Hopefully I write, I attempt to write at about a ninth grade level so that all of my shit is really readily approachable and it won't be hard for people that also, uh, we don't need your approval. Yank. We appreciate your content. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gold the blasts you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I try to write it a lot of different levels. I like the story to be interesting on a surface level, which a lot of books and stuff that I've enjoyed over the time have been. I think, for instance, to not talk about my own stuff um, that I was talking about recently, uh, Man in the High Castle is a good book. And it has a lot of surface level interest. It's kind of just fascinating to see how people interact with each other in this world that's very novel. This is the best thing about like sci-fi is one of the genres where you have to do this the most um, because sci-fi deals with a lot of hypotheticals and a lot of very off-the-wall, crazy fucking concepts and shit that you might want to get down into, but you're also going to have to lead people into the world. This is where fucking Shadiversity fucks up. He goes into the book's depth immediately, but provides no surface level enjoyment for it. You're just immediately bombarded with fucking school lessons about how the fucking light and dark and all this horse shit fucking works. In my opinion, almost everything, if you can expertly create it is very enjoyable, at least on a surface level, at least to a point where people who are kind of casually half paying attention to it can go like, Maybe I should rewatch that. I think I didn't quite catch it all on the first glimpse or like, you know, oh, I, it was cool looking, but I feel like there's something like there's something else deeper. And then people that want to go a little bit deeper can go deeper. And then people that want to go deeper than that can go deeper. Still, this is what we call in the business subtext. I know it's like tropes, a brand new word that existed only after the internet started, which was the year 2014. Um, the purpose of this is to make stories digestible. Uh, to, to, to quote an old Disney classic, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down in the most delightful way. You know what I mean? You, you If you make things approachable and enjoyable, that's great. It's a surface level stuff. That's why some things are no deeper than surface level. Just that, that said, if you don't get stuff at the deeper level, I also don't think that that's a bad problem. Also, things that are written for in extremely difficult ways have their own enjoyment. You know what I'm saying? Um, to say that to say that you can't enjoy simplistic media just to relax is insanity. Um, it, it's the same mentality that says like there should never exist like you know easy video games or video games with like difficulty sliders or how about even better let, let, let's break it down to something that i think is kind, kind of inarguable puzzles picture puzzles jigsaw puzzles come in uh di different dimensions at times but generally between something simplistic you know this big 500 total pieces maybe you know what 200 total pieces nice big you can kind of stick it together and 10,000 piece puzzles that are the size of your entire living room table right? Um, those have different appeals to different types of people and they engage with them for different reasons. That is the nature of enjoyment, right? Um, if you go play pickup basketball, uh, you know, at the YMCA or something, obviously you're going to want to only stick with people that are at your skill level 
generally, but like trying to find an easy going simple game of pickup basketball isn't something that anyone should be fucking like dogged on. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be like like oh I'm sorry you don't want to play NBA level basketball like do you even fucking like do you even hoop dog like you, what was your hops what's your vertical like you can't dunk <laughs> wow I've never seen somebody miss a three pointer like that that's crazy like I I don't think you're ever gonna get drafted by the Lakers the fuck are you talking about uh to quote the the to quote Kendrick Lamar as uh, yet again I swear to God there's levels to this shit you and I know bitch be humble. <laughs> <laughs> kind of perfect, right? Um, the the thing is, is if you want to just turn your brain off and enjoy stuff, you should be able to. Um, to to say the opposite presupposes the literal impossibility on its face that there's people that never can ever turn their brain off and enjoy something, and that would be like someone like me at your best and even i'm just like dude i'm not looking into the deeper themes of hell divers every time i turn it on and like oh i wonder what i wonder what foucault would think of this like i wonder if marcel proust if he were here right now what what, what would he be what would he opine on given the the political intricacies and in, in the satire of hell divers would he would he compare it so readily to voltaire you know what I mean? Like we're gonna. By the way, f- f- like Vosh, let's see it. <laughs> drop. <laughs> let me see Vosh drop a reference that's harder than in that entire conversation in on literature. Just a reference that's a, a deeper than fucking Tolkien. You know what I mean? Like just that was the best in a half an hour talking about books. Literally, just I don't. Uh, never have I ever interacted with this one subgenre of 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 book reviewers and stuff clearly has no idea how the actual book industry works clearly hasn't been reading anything on his own or if he has it wasn't somehow pertinent to a conversation on books you're trying trying to give fucking people recommendations maybe you just recommend anything on your own i i don't know do you not know how to have conversations online baffling but like let me just end with not only do you have my permission, I suggest, I suggest you engage with brainless content, which requires in reading a level of literacy that supersedes you intellectually over almost the entirety of humanity preceding. In a general sense, you, you, your, your pastime is literally snatching words off a page and hallucinating an entire fucking universe from dust. Oh, I'm sorry. It was lowbrow. It was just to relax. Um, I did more in a second reading a sentence of this Colleen fucking Hoover book than fucking any director on earth could hope to accomplish literally with the entirety of the earth's fucking resources and talent at their disposal. Your mind can put something together. You are a fucking miracle made flesh. You are humanity. You are engaging with someone else using a method of telepathy to create from nothing matter in the manner which God himself created the world. If you believe something like that on the seventh day, when you were meant to rest. Congratulations, you're based as fuck, literally cooler and a harder worker than fucking God. <laughs> what is your what is your response to this Vosh, you fucking mighty intellect, Mount Vosh, Lord High Gooner? What 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 response can I receive? Uh I didn't mean that. Uh 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 tags are like in pornography where I come to horses. Okay, stunning. Thank you. Voice of the left. I piss on it. If you've given Vosh money in a super chat in the last three months, I despise you. Myself included. I gave him $5 once. Talking about fashion. God damn it. Hope you enjoyed your time on the west side.